Hi, I'm Ron LaSalle from beautiful Burke County, North Carolina. In September of 2009, I was diagnosed with uh, stage 4 esophageal cancer, and I had three rounds of chemotherapy, and I stopped in November, and we had a CT scan done, and really weren't too satisfied with the results, so I stopped chemo, and I decided on seeking some alternative treatments instead. And since uh, uh, January 1st, I became a vegetarian, and I've been doing a lot of um, alternative treatments, including IV, vitamin C, some chelation therapies, and all kinds of supplements and other things. Now, what I want to talk to you today about is inhaling sodium bicarbonate. Now, I found online from clinicaltrials.gov a study that was done in the University of Pittsburgh um, in 2002. The study has been suspended, it says, and basically they took a group of cystic fibrosis patients and gave them uh, sodium bicarbonate to inhale to find out if they could cough up more mucus than those that were receiving sodium chloride. So anyway, there's a physician in Italy who believes that cancer is a fungi. And I was looking this up on uh, some of the YouTube videos and I thought, very pretty interesting. So I, I started taking this sodium bicarbonate myself probably about two weeks ago. I take about a half a teaspoon and about four ounces of water and I just drink it before I went to bed. And of course in the morning, boy, I'll tell you what, my urine uh, on the test strips, it was blue. It was. But I do have some spots on my lung and bronco and lymph nodes where, you know, from the cancer where it's spread. And I thought, you know, I really need to get this sodium bicarbonate right on uh, those spots. And I thought, you know, one of the ways to do that maybe is, is to inhale it. It would certainly work better. So I'm doing both. But the first time I did this was last night. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, I woke up the next day before I made a video showing people. Now, of course, you know, you have to... I would recommend that you go and see your physician, um, your doctor, for approval before you just do this on your own. I am a registered nurse and I, I do quite a lot of research and before I do things. But again, I do have four, stage 4 cancer, so <clears throat> they tell me Western medicine says, you know, that's never been cured in 5% uh, or in 5 years the survival rate is less than 5%. So, and that's with standard treatment, chemotherapy and radiation and, and all that stuff. So I decided, well, I'm going to do some other things. I'm not just going to sit back and, and look at the uh, tiles in the ceiling. I'd rather go out, you know, trying some things because maybe it could help others. And with my strong faith in God, you know, I kind of like to beat this cancer. <laughs> That would be great. And I just, I feel great and I, I think I'm going to do that. But anyway, what I do is I have some distilled water here. I put um, three and a half ounces and then I put about a half a teaspoon of baking soda in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more. Let's, let's double that. I'm going to put another teaspoon in. That's, that's quite a lot. You can see the change uh, right here. That's a lot more than I put in last night. You know, it's safer to, and that's four and a half ounces. I just added another ounce of water. I've got this sports mist too. It's a nebulizer. And what I'm going to do is just stick a teaspoon in my little piece pipe here. And I'm going to turn it on. And you'll see the mist that I make. I'm just inhaling, exhaling. Now, last night, again, was the first time I did this. And every morning when I wake up, I feel like <clears throat> I have something stuck in my, my throat and lungs. And I, I cough up a lot and I bring up just, you know, a little bit of mucus. And it's like, goodness sakes, is that all it was? And it's, it's always been clear and stuff. Well, after doing this last night, today I noticed 
I it, it, the stuff came up a lot easier, and there wasn't as much, but uh, it didn't last as long. Is what I mean. It came up much easier, but I noticed some blood tinge in in my uh, sputum. So I thought, well, that's new, and so I was really excited about that. I'm not concerned about it, uh, if anything, excited. So remember, if the cancer I have in my lungs and bronchial disposition in Italy is right, and cancer is a fungi, this is a really good way um, for people with lung cancer or whatever, I would think, for you to get some sodium bicarbonate in, right on those uh, uh, tumors, or, or as close to them as you can get. I think this is safe, at least for me, um, but I cannot recommend this, that you do this. Um, uh, you know, you need to see a physician, and of course I don't believe this is FDA approved. I don't know why this study was suspended. Maybe it was over or, or what, maybe somebody was harmed, or maybe it didn't show any um, results. But it did say that uh, the people that inhaled sodium bicarbonate, they were able to cough up three times more mucus than the people who were just um, inhaling saline. So promising, very, very affordable. This is just baking soda. Um, and again, I, I told you, you know, <clears throat> you can drink this, <laughs> brush your teeth with it. It's a good thing, you know, they used to brush teeth with this stuff years and years ago, and we didn't have a lot of cancer back in the day compared to what we do now, of course, diet and stuff, but maybe there's something to this. It's, it's affordable, and uh, I'd recommend it. Okay, from beautiful Burke County, North Carolina, I'm Ron LaSalle, fighting cancer with inhaling sodium bicarbonate. God bless.